Then comes the Almighty Speaker from Dubai. Oh, they want to hear your kukuku with love. New video, sir. Come in. The first one. Oh, I blow for my chair. Speaker, back we need formal statement to the house. It's a very interesting statement. Ah, students of parliamentary history, recently, mm -hmm. she's subject to careful and critical scrutiny. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Mark can be on it last week on news file. Uh, because social media, now, yeah, a lot of the NDC communicators, na nyama anja, osudo. Well, tell me apart. They I mean my Marco Parliament. Abiding the minimum of our parliament. Abiding the minimum chin bagwin when it comes to parliamentary practice and procedures. And true, Kwame, I swear la la la. Bagwin me to me compare me to Bagwin when it comes to parliamentary practice and procedures. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? My name is Zig. Kwame. Kwame. To question. Speaker Badwin's expertise. Knowledge. Experience. The crafts of parliamentary procedures, practice. Choice of words. Who? Who? Who is going to go back? So I dare not. And I'm not going to attempt it. But as a student of parliamentary history, as a researcher into parliamentary history practices, procedures, and conventions, I'm entitled to make my case in scrutinizing this former statement. Bibia Maka in favor of Speaker Bagwin, and it is genuine is from my heart is from my mind and my body because a naked is a fact they mean to me compare me to him when it comes to some of these issues but i mean catch him speaker bagwin is not perfect he's bad human that's why i saw it now even chair no doa ne omaruni been a member of parliament if you're there in pinedua procedure and the you issue a substantive motion mm -hmm. to challenge the ruling of the speaker. It's an admission there. Speakers can go wrong. Into step by step. Yeah. Formal statement. And you know what? My try, uh, but it's not the Hansard Department war fault. Because now you say what well, technical challenges be. Entire uh, Hansard publication or, or delay kakra. First na little very little delay if any. But now na times so to me the bear three days, four days answer. Well, I well, get I get draft. Yeah, I, I get draft. But draft in po nice or delay. Okay. First name to delay and draft or unedited. You have to be careful how you how use it. Because it's not the final copy. Yes. And on internet. The formal statement in the make it. On it in the message, I've been chasing that answer, the answer for this. Means some kind. Because you see, answer department is a mirror of the exact proceedings. But they have a certain new way our grammar can be changed, can be <coughs> and some structure be also can be reviewed. They have that discretion not to change the not to change thoughts. the substance and things but there's something in going through this formal statement that i discovered and i want to give the speaker the benefit of the doubt on some of the things i'm going to say because you see he's too experienced but since you know you know speaker nankasa no boko akoye all do search or research mm -hmm. for specifics of instances of uh, the president's practices and conventions are Jesus. not paid all capture into this statement let's be honest yeah it's like the president yeah. he will give uh, his speech writer some ideas and things getting the global thing that you go and do yeah. the job and bring 
some of them don't even get time to read over the thing even though i know this president will read you know but there are many you know who don't and not all things except to be your consider so so special hmm. but when we read this paragraph i mean call the specifics and you have to give me time paragraph six of speaker name formal statement you know. I say, be that as it may, honorable members, the precedents and the practices and conventions of this house require that the issue of quorum be raised only be raised be only raised on the floor. When the matter is not raised on the floor, the only prima facie indication of the number of members present is in the record of the votes and proceedings of the house having laid this basis speaker bagwin proceeded mm -hmm. one i don't time but it's important it's him but me me a different program until last night okay the takes the blame <laughs> In the Kodo Radio, who um, <laughs> director of finance, <laughs> 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 yes, also on the 20th of June 2002, that was my 32nd birthday. Yes, that's interesting. Last week, should be with them. See what the sitting of the house was suspended after an objection was raised by Honorable Kwachi Adu, member for Afram Plain South, for the absence of of a quorum to commence public business mm -hmm. the right honorable peter Lajiti began the process of adjourning the house until his attention was drawn to the fact that members had begun to fill the chamber it is important to reiterate the comments of the then majority leader honorable papa Owusu Ankuma, mm -hmm. who cautioned that the issue of quorum be looked at since members could be in attendance at committee seatings and be conducting mm -hmm. parliamentary business but not present on the floor of the house and thus not counted for the purpose of forming a quorum. Honorable Papa Usu Ankuma's premise is viewed on a point of law. The issue of quorum is on the members present in parliament mm -hmm. and not on the floor or in the chamber. Then he asked us to reference articles 102 and 104. Mm -hmm. Well, largely what he said there is factual. Okay. But make check the answered for 20th June 2002. Mm -hmm. And to the extent there, Kwachi Adu, MP for Upfront Plain South, raised an, uh, an issue of coal is a fact okay it call column 221 uh, 1221 1221 my our tribute to the mp and the majority leader, leader uh, mm -hmm. it's all here okay i mean but what i find interesting and not that major but interesting is there here there was no reference or anything to the votes and proceedings as such they did not even count the number as i said some people began to walk into the chamber what they did the procedure that was adopted was standing order 48 2. you ring a bell huh? mm -hmm. after 10 minutes Say still, if you are in your courtroom, then you go ahead. That is, if the ten minutes. So they applied the issue of time, which is allowed. Okay. Order forty-eight two. Yes, and that's no big deal relative to the submission. I've checked the Mikita. You see, I've gone for the votes and uh, proceedings right. to check. Now, Kwame. Second one. Also B similarly on the 22nd of february 2014 this house stood adjourned when the issue of lack of quorum was raised by honorable Athenio market unfortunately there was no sitting this day huh? 
this day there was no parliamentary sitting. And that's why I say I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt to the extent that any researchers you know, have wrong. done a poor job, lack of due diligence. You see, there was no sitting. Dana Bagbin Kadam me. That, that yeah, was the 22nd reference. February. Or, or that Bagbin reference is 22nd yeah. February 2014. It doesn't exist. There was no sitting. Maybe it's a I'm typo. I'm sure another day. Could be typo, could be lack of due diligence and oversight, but I blame the researchers. I'm not directly blaming him. Where his blame is coming, I'll show you. Okay, let's quicken it. Kwame. That dance I'm bound to you to you. As <laughs> it ended the announcement I had them back. <laughs> so you actually owe us an apology, not a uh, repetition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear you. Inima, mm -hmm. that next one. C. <clears throat> also, again, on the 9th of November 2018, mm -hmm. it was Honorable K.T. Amon who raised the issue of lack of quorum in the House during the consideration of the RTI bill. Nikita Hansard, 9th November 2018. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like that there. Huh? Absolutely nothing like that. Are you sure? I suspect, again, t a typo, oversight, or lack of due diligence on the part of his research team. You don't suspect mischief yet? Okay, twice. One power who's suspecting mischief there, that's interesting. I well, he's that. a master mischief. <laughs> I didn't hear <laughs> Because Mami, the, so far, he doesn't suspect Mami, mischief. Bombay at work. Mm -hmm. Let me preach. D. Mm -hmm. On 20th November 2019, Right Honorable Speaker <coughs> Professor Kwe suspended sitting after the Honorable Mahama Ayarega indicated that the House did not have the norms to continue the debate on the 2020 budget. Again, in this instance, the issue of quorum was raised by a member during the proceedings. Well, again, May 20th November 2019, Hansard. I cannot find Diarga raising the issue of quorum. It's not there. My are, search, you, are you sure? Oh, my search, I, I suspect it might have happened on another day. Again, I blame his research team. Hmm. Now, nah, Kwame. Kwego. The next one, <laughs> where he was now trying to explain the votes and proceedings, the yeah, primary facy indication. Oh, A, because I'll start, I'll say A, on August 22nd, 2003 the minority staged a boycott of the house in protest against the nhia bill he was led by him right yes exactly he was minority leader yes business of the house continued despite boycott the total number of majority members used to justify a quorum was the number 101 recorded on the votes and proceedings of the day and not the numbers on the floor well Again, Mikita Hansard, 22nd August 2003. There's no evidence of the minority working out on that particular day. Are we not being pedantic? No! Wait! The House of Records, first of all, that's why I began by first saying there, I was chasing the Hansard. Mm -hmm. That the Hansard department, if somebody had seen this, they decided, look, let's help the speaker. They can yes, if you, even they can come to the floor uh -huh. in terms of votes and proceedings, <coughs> and the corrections could be then done. Uh -huh. But then what? The the uh, there's a word I'm looking for. The quantity is not the best. The the multiplicity of this error. some elementary error. The frequency. The frequency in, from in the house of records. In the house of records, it says that you can't tell me I'm being pedantic. 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 No, pedantic. I wouldn't have applied such. No, 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 is it Mrs. Kuhlman? The late uh, Grace Kuhlman? Yeah, the late. Kuhlman. About, <coughs> unfortunately there, the minority side had gone out earlier. This is 19th. Okay. So it means that that workout would have happened before even 19th. 19th. Again, it's an error. 
I blame the research team. Then there is a 25th February 2005. To you. 25th February 2005. The minority staged a walkout of the house because of the consideration of the custom and excise petroleum taxes bill. Mm -hmm. Despite the walkout, proceedings continued and the quorum relied upon was the number of members recorded on the votes and proceedings as present, including the members of the majority, uh, the minority who had all worked out. Mm -hmm. It's true that day the minority worked out. His reference to votes and proceedings, you know, make check in incorrect. I see. Now, another one. On the 19th November, last one, and you know, some about where he takes the direct view. Mm -hmm. On the 19th November 2014. Mm -hmm. The minority staged another workout of the chamber because of the bill on the introduction of 17.5% special petroleum tax levy. Again, despite the workout, votes and proceedings recorded 274 members present, which was more than half of all members to take decisions of the day. I believe typo, oversight, or poor due diligence on the part of the researchers. Eco vote and Aina mm Kwame. -hmm. They were not two four they were not two seven four. How many were there? They were two four seven. That's why I say typo. Mm -hmm. Typo. Yes. Having said all these things, Mr Speaker, or you attempt to show the will use the number of MPs present on the floor or in the chamber. But we'll rely on Abadi Votes. votes and proceedings and i'm sure we all know what the votes and proceedings are of course come to december 22nd 2015. Oh, also eh? according december 22nd 2015. yes i have the answer here inima they were dealing with the one billion dollar sovereign bond euro bond now voting took place after the deliberations debate in Nyama, there was a voice vote. The first deputy speaker then was the one presiding. Barton Odru. Ebo Barton Odru. To him, and he's right, the standing orders allow it. Not for the stand, uh, voice vote in clear mm -hmm. enough. So he called for a head count. Oh, okay. No, he the speaker. Okay. That is about to draw the time. Yeah, the presiding. <coughs> or call it for head count. Head count. Before then, Bobby was challenging him. The oh, the thing is clear. They were 138, half of the normal here. So, where yeah, head count? It became 67, 66. I see. The eyes had 67. Let me be let's let not me also make a mistake. The eyes at 66. Mm -hmm. That's obviously the majority <laughs> side. The nose had 67. Mm -hmm. Abstention was nil. So the speaker called the clerks to do some homework. When they did and they added, it was 133, not 138. Okay. Now listen to Bagwin, who before the count also. Mr. Speaker, we are one, we are 275 members. Note, 275 members, half of that is 138. Right. Mr. Speaker, I believe that we are more than 138. So we satisfy the constitutional provision. Therefore, it is incumbent on you, Mr. Speaker, to announce the results. It's here. It's here. After the Speaker got the head count done, the speaker came, comes in and said, if you add the two, we have 133. Yeah. Half of our figure is 138. Therefore, it is defeated. Honorable members, in effect, it means that it was an exercise in futility. This speaker, but you know, rather time. Yes, first. First deputy yeah. speaker. Yeah. It's the obeyer, but you 
and some members walked out. That's what Hansard is saying here. And so it didn't lead to suspension for them to go indoors uh, uh, in conclave and resolve their problem. In effect, you're telling me that Bagbin presiding over the uh, rejection of the budget is wrong. Of course, his own nanny own mathematics. Yeah. Nani own mathematics, which he articulated on 22nd December 2015. He didn't bring it his uh, aid. But Mami, we. Yes, I'm about to finish. Mami. Yeah. You see, where you be, be we. Mm hmm. Ne. What about back? What about back? No. The substantive speaker himself had taken over. Tema substantive speaker Doa Jahu said they even told him that oh we've gone into conclave we've reached a compromise the compromise is that we are deferring that motion because we are told there is a decisive it didn't happen until we are deferring any debate on it and come another day this is what they told the substantive speaker the substantive speaker said no hold on see what's it honorable members I do not intend to take a position which is different from the position taken by the house and the leader in consultation and the leaders in consultation mm -hmm. however i want to make some points very clear not for this house alone but for future parliaments mm -hmm. don't forget speaker Bagman talked of presidents yes, practice yes. and conventions. conventions now listen honorable members you are aware that this house is not supreme we are subject to the constitution of the Republic of Ghana. The rule is that where the constitution has made a provision for the regulation of the business of the house, they take precedence over any other, indeed, the standing orders of this house. Mm -hmm. There is quorum to do business, and that is one third of the house. And there is quorum to take a decision. So we need to draw a distinction between the quorum to do business and the quorum to take a decision. The quorum to take a decision is regulated by Article 1041, which provided as follows, except as otherwise, except as otherwise in this constitution, matters in parliament shall be determined by the votes of the majority of members present and voting, with at least half of all members of parliament present. Uh, uh, Mite, that's where I take over now. Let's, no, 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 no. let's do the summary now. Look, this is the most critical part of my exercise. Today. Okay, so wrap Back, it up. After all, you have holidays here and back for until some time. The fundamental <laughs> now, question. Now I'm back for one month. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's predictable. <laughs> the fundamental question mm -hmm. is that the time that the vote was taken, mm -hmm. did we have at least half of the honorable members present? No. It is a constitutional issue which has been captured in the standing orders 1091 of our standing orders. If we go by the results of the head count by adding 67 to 66, we would get 133. Not 138. Therefore, there is a serious constitutional issue there. So at the time that the votes were taken, this house lacked the legal in fact, the constitutional capacity to take a decision. The majority, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Including Babu. Yeah. What can you hear here? Hear, hear. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Once we lack the constitutional capacity to take a decision, that is what will be read into the Hansard. Do you want to know say? Do I know? Do I know? Waba, he's come to take over from the first deputy speaker. Mm -hmm. I realize you didn't get it because now yeah, I got distracted. distracted yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and as we speak, this is what the Hansard has captured. And that is what somebody could take a court action on. What the Hansard has captured? Yes. Okay. If somebody wants to raise a legal or constitutional issue, that is what he will take to court. And they will find out whether we have the normal to take the decision. And if 133 definitely is not half of the house let us get this this is the first time we are confronted with an issue where a head count listen, has been taken and we do not have the numbers since 1993 that i have been in this house 
This is the first time that we have been confronted with this issue where a headcount has been taken and the results that we were brought showed that we did not have the required number. And so he ended up saying there, I thought I should use this opportunity to clarify the position for the records and for future reference. Speaker Duajaho. And Kwame, you know something interesting? Well. I then checked the votes and proceedings because Speaker Bagman is making that a basic pillar. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he was talking of half of 275 being 138. Kwame, mm -hmm. the votes and proceedings for that day, for December 22nd, 2015, a copy of which I have here, the total number of members present that day has captured in this votes and proceedings was 256. 256 mm -hmm. and 19 absent. <laughs> so it means that Sanchez can half now. It should be one to eight. You, you get the point. Yeah. If if the votes mm. and proceedings are the basic pillar, then that day the one three three was more than the one two eight. Yeah. So they would have carried on. Absolutely. And the motion would have been carried. That's right. And though Ajao will not come and Make reinforce Martin Rose thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see the point I'm making. Consistency. Hmm. If he meant business, which it, what he was when he made the mathematics about 138 being half of 275. Now, subsequently, you know, the 133 no, I didn't get invalidated. Here's, today we are being told that the basic pillar is the votes and proceedings. And not members And present. not members in the chamber present, present. or present in the, on the floor. That day he was making his argument about 138 being half of one, uh, 275. They were two, five, six. Hmm. The inconsistency. There, he takes the personal responsibility. In the sense that 20, 22nd December 2015, the House did a ruling based on, for future references. And that will come there for the future. Yes. And he to all your new, new former statement, and also say, more no, it's a bakaya. He quoted the uh, is it a scheme? No, you see, I mean, paragraph 16. Tell you, mm -hmm. also, it is persuasive to note what a scheme an authority in parliamentary practice says on this matter. Quote The speaker's rulings constitute precedents by which subsequent speakers, members, and officers are guided. Such precedents are noted. And in the course of time may be formulated as principles or rules of practice they are important source of determining how the house conducts its business though ajawo and bachelodro combined on 22nd december 2015 actually established the this rule precedent. of practice and the precedent they clearly what can half of the members of parliament now or you that constant 275 when mm -hmm. we were 200 that was the constant when we were 230 that was the constant now no the constant is the 275 and he knew that and that's why he actually made the case that 138 is half of half. 275 only for the counting to show that there were 1335 short whatever it is that business for that day was shredded into non-existence Kwame. you cannot come back years later huh and say there 137 people who were seated there in the house that time uh -huh. he counts or say it's it mercy or counts all those who walked out that is <laughs> and this is for war argument or logic yeah then the majority walked out but you agree that you walk out it doesn't mean business stops. Yes, business can continue because if you are what I wanted for Korum, but when it comes to continue. voting, it's a different but, matter. Yes, <coughs> but upper decision making now, a whole so Korum ni changes. Test my see. Yes. Now 137 cannot suddenly become Come 138 there, yes. of your 2000, uh, 2020, uh, 2015. 15. Argument. That's my argument for the day. Actually, me, but Kwame. Yeah.